The breath provides us an excellent context for working with the mind-body connection. How we breathe reflects how we feel and how we perform mentally, how clearly we can think and focus. Emotions affect the way we breathe and stress affects the way we breathe. You might think that breathing is just breathing, but actually there's an incredible richness to the breath so that you can work with it without ever exhausting its potential, just going more and more deeply into the nature of the breath and into the nature of the mind-body connection. Breathing offers us a fruitful window on the mind because it's a sort of meeting ground between conscious and non-conscious or non-volitional influences. And that's what gives it such potential as a working ground for our mind-body skills development. And the connection is two-way, so we do have some volitional control over the breath, though it's not unlimited. If we can learn to intelligently apply the control or influence that we do have, then we have a means of influencing how we think, feel and focus. Optimal breathing is a tool for developing emotional regulation, cognitive performance and even energy and motivation. We're going to work with three main biofeedback parameters that all relate to breathing. They are firstly EMG, which is a measure of muscle tension. We've already touched on this idea that we tighten up under stress. So muscle tension biofeedback is a tool for working with the stress response. Secondly, capnometry, a means of measuring breathing chemistry, which is to do with the balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide. Capnometry biofeedback is a tool for ensuring optimal delivery of oxygen to brain cells. In my experience, dysregulated breathing chemistry is very common and it relates strongly to stress and the kind of everyday problems that we're interested in. And thirdly, heart rate variability or HRV. HRV gives us a window on the relationship between breathing and the autonomic nervous system, which also has a lot to do with stress. So, three parameters, but one breathing training. These three biofeedback parameters all have their place within an integrated breathing training. Which is not to say that there's just one way of breathing well, just as there's no single optimal mental state or emotional state, your breathing needs to change according to context. If you're giving a presentation at the office, that's going to be quite a different state of mind from lying in bed trying to get to sleep, and your breathing should reflect this. So adaptability or flexibility is key. It's the ability to shift state to most appropriately meet the needs of the circumstances that you find yourself in.